What to eat before working out is often thought to be something complex that influences your results greatly. But you can be more flexible with your pre-workout nutrition than many people think. In this video, I will discuss the key principles of pre-workout nutrition so you can perform better and feel good in your training sessions. I will touch on three points specifically. Meal size, protein and carbohydrate timing, and hydration. At the end of the video, I will show you some example meals to put the tips discussed in this video into practice. First, let's discuss meal size. I remember the days in which I thought I had to consume a protein shake and a large carbohydrate meal before working out to perform at my best. But having such a large meal close to training may do more harm than good. If you start training soon after a large meal, it's common for people to feel some stomach discomfort because you are still digesting the foods that you consumed. This is especially true if your pre-workout meal also contains a lot of fat, because dietary fat slows down the rate at which food is emptied from your gut. So the first tip is to have your lightest meal of the day if you choose to eat one or two hours before your training session. To better understand what these meals should contain, let's jump right into the next topic, that's protein and carbohydrates. Muscle growth is the result of synthesizing more muscle proteins than your body breaks down. The most important variable for having a positive protein balance is how many grams of protein you consume per day. But the way you distribute your protein throughout the day can also have a muscle growth benefit. Research suggests that having roughly 4 protein doses distributed throughout the day helps with creating a more positive protein balance. Particularly, consuming protein around your workouts can be of benefit because this is when muscle protein synthesis is at an increased rate. So if maximizing muscle growth is the goal, it's a good idea to include a protein source in your pre-workout meal. Around 0.3 to 0.5 grams of protein per kilogram of your body weight is a good aim. When it comes to carbohydrates, how important carbs before training are depends on whether you have eaten carbs earlier that day. If you are fasted, there is research showing that consuming a high carb meal benefits strength training performance. Also, if someone is deep into a fat loss phase and is quite lean, having more carbs around training may help that person feel better during the workout. By consuming 20 up to 40% of your daily carbohydrate intake around training, you prevent going into your workouts hungry and feeling low energy. But there are also instances where carbohydrate intake is less important. Let's say someone has had a decent breakfast and lunch. Usually eating more carbs before training does not directly help strength performance. This is because the earlier meals in the day have already ensured that you have high enough muscle glycogen stores to perform well. With that said, in all cases there is no harm in including carbs in your pre-workout meal. For most people I suggest including around 20-30% to of your daily carbohydrate intake in your pre-workout meal, but if you are lean and in a fat loss phase, you can scale this carbohydrate intake up to 40% of your daily carb intake before training. I will show you some example meals that contain balanced amounts of carbs and protein soon. But first let's discuss the last component that we need to consider, your hydration. We all know drinking water is important, but sometimes you get stuck in whatever you're doing and forget to drink enough water throughout the day. This could actually harm your training performance. One research review suggests that athletes should prevent fluid loss of more than 2% of their total body weight if they want to maximize performance. Another study found that mild dehydration can also negatively affect strength performance on the back squat. So make sure you stay hydrated throughout the day and particularly before training. From the scientific literature, we know that the urine color chart you can see here next to me gives a good indication of hydration status. Make sure you are around points 1 to 3 when you intend to work out. Another point worth discussing related to hydration is caffeine intake. There is good research showing that caffeine consumption results in improved exercise performance because of its anti-fatiguing effects. So if you are looking for a reliable performance supplement before training, having some coffee or another caffeine supplement is a good option. Just make sure that you consider that if you train in the evenings, caffeine intake can interfere with sleep somewhat. So try to limit caffeine intake at least 6 hours before sleeping. 
So now it's time to make things a bit more practical. We have discussed meal size and meal composition and now let's look into some example meals that put the things we discussed into practice. These are meals I consume myself before training oftentimes and they are very easy to prepare. So if you're crunched on time, I hope this will help. First, we have protein oats. The way you prepare this is very simple. You basically take 200 milliliters of milk, this can also be almond milk, a half cup of oatmeal and one scoop of whey protein. I personally use chocolate flavored protein. You mix the oats and whey protein and pour the warm milk over it once it's heated. After some good stirring, you will have yourself some tasty chocolate protein oats. If you have more calories to work with, you can also consider toppings like bananas, berries or peanut butter. If you add some pancake mix, you can even make protein pancakes with this recipe. But this is something I'll discuss in a future video, so subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet if you want to stay updated on a protein pancake recipe. The protein oats will contain a good amount of protein and carbs. You can also see a big cup of water next to the oats and this is because we want to stay hydrated before working out. The second example meal is even more simple than the protein oats. It's simply low-fat yogurt or Greek yogurt with granola. This is literally as simple as taking a bowl of yogurt and mixing 50 grams of granola with it. As a side note, whenever eating something like granola, it is crucial you weigh it. It is quite easy to overeat on granola if you're not careful. Some of you may ask, why granola? Well, it's a good carb source and it tastes good. As I mentioned, you have a lot of flexibility. You can also have a chicken sandwich, for example, if that's something you prefer. With this meal, you see I take a cup of black coffee. This is to get the performance benefits of caffeine that we discussed. Now, if you are someone that trains very early and basically right upon waking, you may not have the appetite to have such a meal before working out. In this case, something as simple as having a protein shake with a small piece of fruit is a good alternative. And that's all for today's video. I hope this helps you have more effective pre-workout nutrition from now on. If you'd like me to make a video like this but then a post-workout nutrition, please let me know in the comments below then I will make it happen. And also if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel then uh, make sure you subscribe because I have a lot of good content coming out in the future. Leave a like if you found this video helpful and I hope to see you in the next one.